Hi Intune friends, in this video we're going to look at automatic uh, disk cleanup. So if you're on a Windows 10 or Windows 11, this is a Windows uh, 11 client, and you go settings, we open the settings, then we have something called uh, storage. So it's something called here uh, storage sense. So if we click on that, it's going to look through my disk and give uh, pretty good uh, details. But if we look here, storage sense, this is off by default. And look what it can do here. Automatically free up space, delete temporary files and manage local available cloud content. So if we click on this and if we take a look more here, so I'm going to manually enable this. I'm going to turn off it later just to show what it can do. And we're going to enable this with Intune. So if we enable this on, it's going to try to clean up some space. So far it has cleaned up zero because it hasn't been enabled. But uh, on my other machine, I have cleaned up like 64 gigabyte or something after a month. So when do you want to run this? You can have it to run very regular, every day, every week, every month. But you can also have it just when it's a low disk space. So for example, if a machine wants to upgrade the uh, Windows uh, update, it doesn't have enough uh, space, it's going to fail. This could help then. So when it reaches a special threshold, it's going to run this. What it's going to do, it's decided for down here. It can delete files from the recycle bin. We all know what that is, right? So here I have some stuff in my recycle bin. If they have been here for a certain amount of time, which we specify here in the settings, for example, if they have been there more than 30 days, then it gets deleted from a recycle bin. I like that pretty good. I have heard horror stories where users actually use recycle bin to save files and keep them there. So yeah, you probably have to announce that to your users. Then you can delete files in download folders also if they have not been used for a longer time. I'm not so much for that because I like to keep my download for a longer time, but why not? You could have a 60 days if they haven't been opened. It's download. It's usually not creative work. You can download it again. So why not? But I'm not a big fan of this. This one, however, I like a lot. So this is my OneDrive cloud account. So all the files that I have here sync to the cloud. So if we, for example, would say that if I haven't opened a file for 30 days, then we can remove it from the disk, but it's not deleted. You still have it in the cloud, which means that if the user click on the file, it's going to download it from the cloud again. So it's not gone. Let's see if I have one of those. Uh, for example, this one here, it's not on my uh, disk. It's only in the cloud. So if I double click on it, it's going to download this. I forgot what, this is a, a registry file. So if I, let's say I want to um, edit this one, it's not on my disk. It's going to quickly download. You see here, it's synced, download, and got it from the cloud. And now it's downloaded here. If I don't open this file again for, let's see the settings here, 30 days, then it's going to be deleted from my local disk and then get this icon that stays in the cloud. I hope that went through. So pretty nice setting. I wouldn't mind have 60 days here. So if there are some files that are not being run, so that looks good to me, but again, I wanted to, in so that's would uh, clean up the disk, but I want to do this through Intune. So I just wanted to show what a uh, storage sense is. You can enable that on your own machine, but if you want to push it to all the company, it's better to do with configuration profiles. So let's go back to the console. So here I'm on my admin machine. Here are my four devices that are enrolled, the Windows devices. And they actually have enough uh, disk space. But if we wanted to see, we could add here columns. So I never remember the name of this. Free storage. And I think the other one is called total storage. Yes, total storage. So actually free storage may be most interesting. This machine here have uh, 35 gigabyte free. That's more than enough. But if this uh, goes down to 10 or 5 uh, gigabyte, then it could be nice to clean that up. So let's create this um, uh, storage uh, sense policy. So if we start from the beginning, we start here at the home. If we go to devices, then we could go directly to configuration profiles. But since this only works for Windows, let's click on Windows. 
and then click on configuration profiles. And from previous videos, we should have a few here already. I before prefixed them with GBN, I have removed that now. So let's create a profile. Platform, it's going to be Windows 10 or later. Profile type, it's going to be settings catalog. So let's create this one and it's going to ask us for a name. Uh, storage uh, sense, uh, clean up uh, files on disk when space is low. Very long uh, name, so long that it uh, actually works as a description. Then we can click next here. And here under configuration settings, let's click add settings. And here we have to know what it is. Well, we know it's something with the storage, right? So if I search on storage, it should uh, minimize. It's still pretty much here. But if we scroll down, we have one here uh, separate for storage. So let's click storage. I'm going to add all eight, but we're not going to use all of these. So select all these settings. Now they arrive here on my left side. So now I can click here on the cross to um, remove that. So here we have the settings. I'm going to go through them uh, pretty quickly, but I'm not going to use this remove, removable disk deny write access. So I just click on the minus here, so I don't configure it, leave it as default. The other, so allow storage sense global. Yes, please. So we want to enable that in this case, allow. And I also wanted to allow to clean up temporary files. So temporary files, if I go back to my client here, that could be um, under the user's file or under the system. So we have, if I do percent um, temp, then I'm gonna go to the user's uh, temp. So here are some temp files. These can definitely be deleted. We also have another temp under Windows. That's for the system. So here we have a lot of temp files. They are usually not that important, at least not the old ones, and they can take up quite some space. So go back to settings here in Intune. Um, and I never said how we reached this console, but you knew that by now, intune.microsoft.com. And so we want to allow uh, storage uh, temporary files cleanup. Yes, that's a, you don't risk anything to enable that. Then allow disk help. Uh, help the model updates. Um, I'm unsure what that is. We can learn more. Maybe we do that. Uh, so storage. Uh, well, you can read here. I'm actually unsure myself what this does, but uh, it's set to allow and we probably need that to allow so that it can read the disk help. So let, let's keep that one. You can read more here. Maybe you understand this more than me. It looks to be more um, uh, config CTS there. This is one of my favorite, config, uh, configure uh, storage sense cloud content. Uh, so we have different uh, threshold here. You can do zero to 365. So let's say if a machine haven't accessed a file that it's synced to one drive for, we had 60 days in the console. I like that, two, nearly two months. And here is how often it should run. Uh, zero, that means it's default. It runs during low disk space, and I like that. So again, if we go back um, to this one, it's when it should run. So we have every day, week, monthly, or we could have every third day, not here, but in the policy. But I like during low uh, free disk space. So then, then it's really needed. So for that, we can just keep the zero. So it's the zero value here. Then um, for recycle bin, 30 days, let's see what we have. Uh, we can set the value from zero to 365. Zero, nothing will happen. Uh, 30 days, maybe a bit little. Let's take 90 days. So after three months, if it's been in recycle bin, then delete it. It's pretty high value. You could probably put a lot lower. The download folder, again, we could put uh, 365. I don't want to touch the downloads. We keep them as it is. So this would be a pretty good settings. I um, Maybe I wasn't so clear. So 
That means that the storage sense, the one who clean, will only run when it's low disk space. So if you have a lot of disk space free, this will never run. If not, you would have to change it to one every day or every week, seven and stuff like that. So I'll, I like the zero there, that it run when it's low, but you can totally change that. Cloud content, that's what I show on the uh, OneDrive that it's synced. If it haven't been open in 60 days, then remove it. And I mean, by remove it, you don't delete anything. When the user click on it, it's going to download from OneDrive again. And then you have 60 more days to use the file until it gets re removed and you have to download it again. If you have files that have been, uh, been longer than 90 days in the... Um, um, a recycle bin, it's get uh, deleted, but again, since we put zero here, only when it's low disk space. And downloads, we don't touch that. That will always stay, so we never delete anything from the download, and we allow this. So let's go next. Don't use scope tags. Assign. So we should assign this to um, our test group first. I'm uh, so we. We have spoken about that in other videos. We should like uh, assign it to ring one. I'm actually gonna assign this to all my machines. So first we should have tested if I can spell Windows. Not that easy. Uh, select and perfect. My my four devices. I have only one online for now. So I'm okay to send this. So we have created it. As always, it never shows up here. Even though it says created, you need to refresh first. So you see I have five policy. I should have six now if I do a refresh. I do have six. It's even said a new here. Okay, excellent. So this one, uh, it takes a little time before my device here, my friend here takes it. Then this one should be checked to yes and be grayed out because, well, it's a policy. We control it. So I'll post the video right now and come back once this has been applied to the device and we check more then. Okay, so now we waited like two minutes or hardly that, maybe one minute and the policy have taken. So if we now go to storage again, turn on storage sense, you see that it's on and it's grayed out. So I can't remove it. And all our settings should be here. Some of these settings are managed by your organization. So we put zero here. That means it run during low free uh, disk space. And we said recycle bin, delete files there over 90 days. And we said don't touch the download folder. And down here we said 60 days. So I could run this now because if not, it will only run when I'm low on disk space. And this one is not really considered low on uh, disk space. Um, if I click here, uh, I have 43 gigabytes. So I have half. That's not going to, it's not going to show red here. But I can still run this one and see if it clean up some bytes. I'm unsure. It should be some, probably not much. This is a test machine. It can be many, many gigabytes that uh, you save. And if you have disk, uh, fairly small disk, like 256 gigabyte or even smaller, then this is really useful. Or even for bigger disk. That, uh... oh, so it looks like uh, some got removed. So I freed up 197 megabyte. So that should be shown here. Yep, by running this. It was re not really needed for this device. So... I leave this machine and go back, see if this one have catched up, that um, this one have been assigned, not yet. It's always, Intune is always the last one to know if you check on the device. Report, I'll refresh this one. Okay, I post the video again and come back while this one shows success, but we see we have already done it successfully. I had to refresh a few times and now it shows uh, success. So this policy have applied, which we had already seen when we went to the client because uh, the settings are set here. So I recommend you to look into this and don't do like me and apply this to all machines. Apply it to some test machines, ring zero and then ring one. And then when you have the settings that you want, 
then you send it to all devices. And again, if you select run only when disk, um, when disk space is uh, low, you are pretty safe. If you change this to run every day and you start to say, hey, remove uh, files from download folders, then some people might um, uh, wondering, hey, where are my files in download? So be careful, communicate if you do any of these changes. But I think for during low free disk space, it's a no brainer, you can have that and especially remove a recycle bin and uh, OneDrive content that is synced. Okay, thank you very much for following along. Have a great day.